Hi, in this video I will be introducing magnetic fields and magnetic flux density. A magnetic field is a region in which magnetic forces act on a conductor carrying an electric current, a moving charged particle, a permanent magnet or a piece of magnetic material. We can draw magnetic field patterns in a similar way to gravitational and electric field patterns. Lines will always go from north to south and the density of the lines represents the strength of the magnetic field. Quite often in this topic we need to think in three dimensions so sometimes magnetic field lines won't be going across our page but might be coming into or out of our page. In this case the notation looks like this. A dot with a circle around it represents a magnetic field line that is coming out of the page towards you and a cross with a circle around it represents a magnetic field line that is going into the page away from you. You should think of these like the head of an arrow that's coming towards you or the feathers at the tail of an arrow moving away from you. Earlier I mentioned that a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences a force. This force can be calculated using the equation F equals B I L where F is the force acting on the conductor, B is the magnetic flux density or the strength of the magnetic field in other words, I is the current that is flowing in the conductor and L is the length of the conductor that is in the magnetic field. For this last one you should note that obviously it depends whether the wire is bigger than the magnetic field or the magnetic field is bigger than the wire, it's whichever length is smaller you would use in the calculation. The unit for force of course is the Newton, the unit for current the ampere, the length should be in meters and the magnetic flux density uses the unit the Tesla. If we rearrange to get B equals F divided by IL we can define the Tesla as the magnetic flux density required to exert a force of one Newton on a one meter conductor carrying one ampere of current perpendicular to the magnetic field. This equation only applies if the wire is perpendicular to the magnetic field. If you needed to calculate the force of a wire that is not perpendicular to the magnetic field you would use the equation F equals bill sine theta. If the wire is perpendicular then the force it will experience will occur in a direction perpendicular to both the magnetic field and to the wire. We can use Fleming's left hand rule to determine this direction. Point your index finger in the direction of the field lines. Remember these go from north to south. Your middle finger you need to point in the direction of the current flow. Note that this is the direction of the conventional current not the direction of the electron flow. This little detail will be important when we consider uh, particles in magnetic fields in a later video. If we point our first finger in the direction of the field and our second finger in the direction of the current then our thumb will tell us the direction of thrust or motion or force. Let's finish with a quick example. Here we have a conductor that is 5 meters long placed in a uniform magnetic field of 120 millitesslas that is acting into your screen and a current of 14 amps is flowing through our conductor from left to right across our screen. So what is the magnitude and direction of the force that will be experienced by our wire? So first of all let's use F equals B I L to determine the magnitude of the force. So the magnetic field strength is 120 millitesslas, so 120 times 10 to the minus 3, multiplied by the current of 14 amps, multiplied by the length of the conductor in the magnetic field, which is 5 meters. And that gives us a force of 8.4 newtons. Now which direction is the force acting in? For this we need to use Fleming's left hand rule. So you need to point to your first finger 
in the direction of the magnetic field. In that case, that should be pointing into your screen, away from you and into your screen. Your second finger, your middle finger, needs to point in the direction of the conventional current, so that's from left to right. That will leave your thumb, if you've done this correctly, pointing upwards, up the screen, and that gives us the direction of our force. 